<clears throat> you want me to sum up the Dolphins Vikings game? Well, look at this. What are you doing? What's up, Finn fans? This video is coming out a little late. I had to uh, drink, um, pour bleach, do things with bleach in my body because this is the f we lost, but we didn't lose by much. Just 24 points. The one thing I will say about this Miami Dolphins team is they really know how to let a fan base down. They really know how to let a fan base down. Halftime. After halftime, we came out of halftime, right? Halftime, one more time. It was 17-21 after that huge Bellage run. Dolphin fans started thinking to themselves, shit, all right, we got this. Third quarter, they held the Vikings to three points. So all of a sudden, we were like, shit, we're going to fucking pull this shit out. But then the Dolphins started playing like the Dolphins. I have a ton of notes, right? I always have notes. I wrote some down, and then I have them on my phone. Every time I watch this game, I start taking notes for these videos for you guys. So I don't come on here and talking like a dumbass. So, you know, the D-line was getting absolutely dominated all game by the offensive line of the Vikings. Just completely dominated. Tannehill. Let me get, let me get right to Tannehill. How about that? Because Tannehill got sacked nine times this game. I would say about three to four of those sacks were his own fault. And I would say the other five to six were this offensive line's putrid gameplay. Now, Ryan Tannehill, if you've been subscribed to this channel from Jump, I like Ryan Tannehill. Do I think he's going to win us a Super Bowl? No. Do I think he's going to win us a playoff game? No. Is he a bad quarterback? No. Is he a great elite quarterback? No. But I said in a, in a video, is Ryan Tannehill a bad quarterback? And he's not a bad quarterback. He's a really good backup quarterback. Now, I said that in a video, and I had the Tannehill fans that think he is really good and doesn't have weapons, offensive line, and the right coach, which that one doesn't make sense because he actually does really well under Adam Gase, tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I have the fans who hate Tannehill tell me I'm being an apologist because he's not a bad quarterback. He's, he, he is what he is. He doesn't have good pocket presence. He doesn't have very good vision. But he'll win you games. Like I said in my video, I think two or three videos ago, I said what I would do with Ryan Tannehill is I would want him to reduce his contract. He's not worth the money he's getting. And then I would draft a quarterback and I would sign a younger quarterback. And worst case, if the younger quarterback or the drafted quarterback does really well, Ryan Tannehill is a very, very good backup quarterback. He'll win you five, six games. I said that in a video. This game was proof in the pudding of what I was talking about. Ryan Tannehill didn't play bad. Ryan Tannehill didn't play well. Ryan Tannehill played Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill's horrible on the road, but he's great at home. This team is one in five at the, on the road, and they're great at home. We saw it. If you noticed that when I made my predictions for like us getting into the playoffs, I had us losing to the Vikings. So did this lose loss hurt me? Yeah, it sucked. But I wasn't expecting a win. It was nice that you know we were 17-21, uh, 21-17 down after that run after the half. Like it was nice, and I thought, shit, this is another game where I think we could lose. That they're gonna pull this out. They didn't. We got the Jags at home next week. Then we got going up to Buffalo. That game going up to Buffalo to become 9-7 and seven could be to get into the playoffs. Do the Dolphins deserve to be in the playoffs? Do the Dolphins can win a playoff game? Not with this defensive line or the offensive line. They won't. But it's still not going to stop me from rooting for this team to make the playoffs. Because I want to see more Dolphin football. It is what it is. These rookies. Mika Fitzpatrick started this surge off. In the second quarter with that pick six. We got the pick six and then we scored a field goal. And then Balaj, the other rookie, had that great run. You know, the, the rookies are stepping up and it's really showing that we have a lot of promise with this team. And they need to start jettisoning the old players. Now, I'm it sucks to say, but I'm talking Wake, I'm talking Quinn. I'm talking, you know, 
the defensive line needs to be redone, completely redone. But, you know, we still have Vincent Taylor who's coming back, and, you know, we have Gachow who's good, so we can build off those, bring in more defensive tackles, better ends, you know, stuff like that. The run defense and the defense in general, like when it was 21 nothing on Twitter, people were saying Matt Burke's getting fired. I don't think Matt Burke should be coaching anymore. I didn't want him to coach after the Lions game. He, he, he's just... I've ha I've had people on Twitter uh, like Omar Kelly and stuff. I've read them saying, you know, he ca he ca he calls good games, but the players don't execute. Well, then you need to call the plays that the players can execute, and you need to put. You know what I'm saying? You're the chess player. You have the pieces. If your pieces are cracked, then don't use them at. You know what I'm saying? So Matt Burke needs to go because it's second and nineteen. You have four down. They're in a four wide second and nineteen. One running back set with Delvin Cook. He has them playing 5 to 10 yards off to protect the first down. And they do a draw! And they'll get 10 yards, 15 yards, and make it third and manageable. Like, dude, how do you not see this? They did it all fucking game. And he doesn't see it. And he doesn't adjust. And it drives me nuts. He needs to go. The Dolphin team had momentum. After that huge run from Balazs, this Dolphin team had momentum. But the players started crap in the bed. One player after another started blowing assignments. Uh... Lammy Tunsil misses on a block, run for negative two yards. Then we have friggin' Juwan James running into his into Tannehill. We had sacks coming in. We had Bolage and Drake giving up sacks and just missing on bar and miss like we had momentum and then we started giving it back to them because players were not doing their assignments and it just killed this team. Bobby McCain. Both rushing touchdowns was just bad angled and just Gave them that touchdown. It was just a poorly executed game. This Dolphin team needed to play sound football on the road in Minnesota. And they didn't. The one thing I said about this game is you can't let the Vikings run. You need to really focus on stopping the run. Delvin Cook rushed for 136 yards. Latavius Murray rushed for 68 yards. Two touchdowns and one touchdown. David, Dalvin Cook, 7.2 yards on average. Which, you're like, shit! That is a lot. We messed up. But then you look at Callum, Kalen Balage. 12 carries, 123 yards, one touchdown. He had 10 yards a carry. In the fourth quarter, we stopped running the ball. I think in the second half of the third quarter, we stopped running the ball. We were doing very well running the ball. Once that started happening, they became one-dimensional, and it just... It's not out of the realm of making the playoffs. I'm going to make another video uh, showing you what's, what the case is now. Now, I know a lot of uh, a lot of you guys are going to be like, I don't care. They played like garbage. There's no point. They get in, they're going to lose. And I agree with you. Um, but I still root for them to get in, and I still want them to get in. So I'm going to make a video probably for Wednesday. Being, I don't think there's a Thursday game anymore. So there's no more Thursday games. So the picks are going to come out on Thursday this week. And then the video that I'm talking about where we're going to break down you know, how the Dolphins can still make the playoffs, who we need to lose, who we're rooting for, that's going to come out Wednesday. So look out for that. But, you know, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this game. I know there's going to be a lot of angry Dolphin fans, and I wholeheartedly expect it because, like I said, they had that chance. After that Balazs run, we were like, we're only down by by four right now. We can do this. Then they held them to three for a whole quarter. It's like, all right, we got this. You know, we're in their faces. We're getting sacks. We're stopping the run. Like, we're doing this, and it just, they started playing real messy. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think uh, of the game. Let me know what you guys think of the playoffs. Like, do you, do you want them to make the playoffs? Do you not care? You know, are you over it? But let me get to your guys' comments. I'm going to take two from Twitter, and I'm going to take one from here, because you guys are telling me do more comments. So I'm going to do more comments, because I like talking to you guys. So it comes from Dylan. And he says, do you think we still have a chance to make the playoffs? And then this one comes from Jose, and he says, does this loss, and with Baltimore and Colts win, does this take us out of the playoffs? Um, no, it doesn't, because I, when I did my uh, whole, if you go back and watch the video, when I did my whole ESPN uh, playoff machine thing, I had the Colts and the Ravens winning this week, and I had the Dolphins, like, I had us winning, but then I said, like, this is what happened if we lost. Both teams next week... Next week, the Ravens have to face the Chargers in L.A. That's a Saturday game, so all Dolphin fans will be watching that. We want the Chargers to win. And then the Colts have to face the Giants at home. And the Giants kind of crept the bed against the Titans. So if the Colts win out, we're done. So if the Colts win next week, 
we're officially done. So that's what we have to root for next week. They need the Colts to lose and the Ravens to lose next week. But if even if we win next week and the Colts win, I think we're pretty much done after that. So hopefully, I hope that answers your question. And then from um, YouTube, Jose asks me, how can the Dolphins improve the defense in 2019 and their cap space? So I'm going to be doing a video where I break down how the Dolphins can get about 35, 000, 35 million under the cap by making moves for getting rid of players that aren't needed, like Branch and um, Quinn and, you know, Devontae Parker and, you know, players that haven't contributed and if they're gone aren't going to be missed. We can have a lot of money left over. And how would we improve the defense? We need defensive tackles. We need a second corner to be outside of Xavier Howard. Look out for that to be the number one thing that the Dolphins do this year is to get defensive tackles, get edge rushers, and get a corner to be opposite opposite Xavier Howard because they're talking about they want Mika to play safety really bad. They want him back there in safety. Um, because if you look at this game, the touchdown to Robinson, McDonald was supposed to be back there helping McTire, and he wasn't. So they want that to happen. So to improve the defense, we're going to a lot of defensive tackle help, edge rushers, and um, a, a corner. And well, we should pick up a linebacker. I'm always like, draft a linebacker. But I'm going to make a whole video on this come the offseason. I have so many videos planned for, for this channel and for you guys in the offseason. You know, predictions, drafts, free agency, all this shit. So... Follow me on Twitter if you don't follow me on Twitter already. Uh, I was tweeting with a lot of you guys. I love talking to you guys. You, it, it makes my day. You guys make me feel better while watching this game because I like interacting with you guys. You guys are super cool. And I also like interacting with you guys below. So be sure you comment in below. I love reading your comments and talking with you guys and interacting and getting advice. When you guys say, stop doing that and do this, I take it. And I, I'm like, all right, let me see what other people say. So if you guys got any more things you would like me to do, go check out my second channel, The Bit Boys. I put new videos out every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, it's Christmas time, so I've been doing a lot of Christmas episodes. And then we're going to be doing more games come January. Let me know below in those videos, games you want us to play. We are going to start playing Madden again, I promise you. Um, and give this video a thumbs up. I know this loss sucks, but it's not the end of the world. <laughs> if that makes any sense. We're still in the playoff hunt. It's going to be much harder now. We had complete control if we would have won, but we didn't. So give this video a thumbs up because regardless, win, lose, embarrassing loss, miracle, anything, you're a diehard Dolphin fan. I thought my jersey was going to help bring us some luck, and it didn't. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> But subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, like I said, I have a ton of stuff planned for the off season. I have a ton of different cool plans happening soon, really soon. So I will see you guys real soon. But other than that, stay classy. Fins up.